And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Shit. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Big V. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, it's all. I have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? You're 
lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. People think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. I should probably get that thing fixed. <laughs> well, it's just some wood rot, not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why, you say? It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother-ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> a ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And to not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? There's 
There's some marks here, on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? Thought you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I call, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I cut me end. I broke the lamp. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think... Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. Just open it. A 
I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the princes now? Lawrence's. Yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business, and we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Don't just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Can you hear me? Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with No! Him. No! Let me go. She... What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. Did you find it yet? If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? Do you still have that letter? Yes. 
Bruce. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Doesn't really help. Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Second-hand paperbacks, old encyclopedias, dusty, no one's read these in a while.
Stay here! No! Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! Same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Who are you? What? Who are you? Listen, man. I'm a private investigator. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down... leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on! Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. At 
It's an uncomfortable feeling. I can't tell if you don't know, or just won't say. Thanks I wish you. there was... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today... There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within? Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Big B. I um, just be careful, please. The same goes for you. What do you want, Sheriff? Official Fable Town business. Oh, well, if it's official Fable Town business. <laughs> Look, I'm not even going to ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice, so try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. 
I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out. Whose is that? Someone who left. <sighs> Enough already. Just tell me where he is. I told you. I don't know. He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. You got any change for this thing? Nope. Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? How about I buy you a drink? How about you keep your drink and piss off? stools in this place. You got a problem, friend? I don't like you, and now you're sitting right next to me. You could ask me to move. You gonna order something, or you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is gonna get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. You're out of paper towels in the... Number one or number two? 
For your sake, uh, I hope it was too. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Not sure I believe you. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Look, it's been a long fucking day and I'm starting to get a little cranky. I've got questions and I'm not leaving without answers. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grim. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. The big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, no. No, no, no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. And they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? You're backing the wrong guy. If you saw what I saw last night, you'd know that. What I see is someone who wouldn't be here if I was the one needing the law for some help. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. <laughs> that all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh. Out of here when you had the chance. Come on, 
You're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Enough. This never happened. I'm good. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? If you run, it'll be worse. Trust me. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Shit. The guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Ah! Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. 
And you got nothing to worry about. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. We had something very special. Who else is involved? The girl with the coat. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh God, and it's one of us. Wait, the big fat guy's still out in the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. Not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punch someone. We can arrange that. <sighs> what did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? 